Hey y'all and welcome to another Booty Guru video. So today I'm going to be sharing my 100% honest opinion on Drunk Elephant or as I like to call it, Drunk Effolent. I have been using their trial sized best sellers every single day, twice a day for 10 days. So I'm going to be telling y'all straight up if it's worth it or not. If you would like to check out any of these products, I will leave the links down below in the description box. I will also provide some timestamps so you can go ahead and skip to the product that you're interested in. So, Drunk Effolent is a high-end skincare brand that is generally considered a clean brand. They have a very long list of ingredients that they do not formulate with. They especially stay away from something that they call the Suspicious Six. Those being silicones, essential oils, chemical screens, SLS, drying alcohols, fragrances, and dyes, which I personally think is really dope. So let's get started. First is the Best Day number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. I don't know if it's Bestie or Best Day, but I'm going to go with the fancy pronunciation. The full-size bottle is 5 ounces and $32. It contains virgin marula oil, glycerin, cantaloupe fruit extract, and aloe leaf extract. The consistency is this clear jelly, and you can use it on wet or dry skin. This cleanser left my skin feeling so, so, so super clean without feeling stripped at all. Which is good because I have dry skin and the last thing that I want is for my face to be as squeaky as Spongebob's boots. In general, I enjoyed this cleanser. I really liked it. But here's the thing, I can get similar results with cleansers that are more affordable. The first cleanser I think of is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Cleanser. It's sulfate free, fragrance free, and contains a lot of amazing extracts. Martin and I have actually completely used up the entire bottle because we really... <gasps> I guess there was still some left. Anywho, for the most part, we have completely finished up this tube, as you can see. I find this one to be just as effective and a lot more gentle and hydrating for my skin type. And you get five ounces for $21, which is $11 cheaper. Next is the Bee Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. The full size is 1.69 ounces for $48. It contains Pro Vitamin B5, pineapple ceramide, sodium hyaluronate, watermelon fruit extract, and niacinamide. The texture is a very lightweight gel and it absorbs into the skin almost immediately. No tackiness or residue. My skin definitely felt a little bit more moisturized, but I didn't notice a huge difference because I have a dry skin. I had to use like five pumps just to get barely enough hydration for my skin. I definitely need something more thick. I'm like Moto Moto, okay? I like them big, I like them chunky, I like them round, and I like them funky. Also, the price point, in my opinion, is not that bad. Serums tend to be more expensive because they have more active components. So personally, I did not like it on my skin, but if you have oily skin and you struggle with hydration, I think this would be a good fit. Next is the Proteini Polypeptide Cream. The full size is 1.69 ounces for $68. It contains nine peptides, amino acids, stem cell extracts, as well as ferment extracts. I love the texture. It's like a very fluffy, whipped, creamy, jelly kind of cream. It feels light on the skin, but the moisture that it delivers is a lot heavier than you'd think. Now I'm gonna just tell y'all straight up, damn, this is good, I like this. <laughs> it goes on smooth and light and delivers really good moisture, so I'm definitely a fan of this cream. Cause y'all already know my skin be as thirsty as that one boy in middle school. <laughs> damn, ma. Where my hug at? With that being said, I still personally wouldn't purchase it just because my face loves oil. My skin absolutely loves squalid oil. Here's a bottle from The Ordinary. I completely finished this bottle and I love this stuff. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but squalene is an occlusive oil, which means that it can be used to trap in your serums so it can function as a moisturizer. So personally, I'm definitely gonna stick to my squalene oil. However, I will acknowledge that this does not contain all of the amazing peptides that this contains. So if you're looking for a bougie face cream that's full of peptides, you could try checking this one out. Next is the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. The full size is a one ounce bottle for $72. Yes, $72. That is the exact equivalent of eight bottles of this squalene oil. <laughs> It only contains one ingredient, 100% unrefined marula oil. It's high in antioxidants, vitamin E, and omega-6 and 9. 
It's very lightweight and absorbs beautifully onto the skin, leaving a nice supple feeling. And the little goes a very long way. My face loves oils, so it is no surprise that I actually really like this oil. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe marula oil is a monounsaturated oil, which means that it has a very stable shelf life and it is very resistant to oxidization. I'm not sure if it's an occlusive and could function as a moisturizer, but according to the Drunk Elephant website, it says here that it can moisturize, nourish, and rejuvenate the skin. So I only use this at nighttime. So let's just cut to the chase, y'all. $72? Look, all I want to say is that The Ordinary has virgin marula oil for $9. Now, I have not tried it, so I cannot tell you how it compares to this one. So on their website, they explain why it's so expensive, why they gave it this price point, and according to Drunk Elephant, our virgin marula oil is cold pressed using a patented process of unheated water extraction, ensuring the oil remains nutrient dense and stays fresher longer. Yes, it's spendy, but a little goes a long way, so I'm sure it would last, and it's genuinely a good oil. However, I think I'm gonna stick to my squalane oil. It's something that is tried and true for my skin, and I'll be saving $60, which is like 10 $5 Taco Bell boxes. The only way I would see someone buying this is if they really like facial oils and they just wanna be bougie and they just wanna splurge, which is fine, you know, people like to splurge on products. And last but not least is the Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 30. The full-size bottle is three ounces for $34. It contains 20% zinc oxide, as well as glycerin, aloe leaf extract, and jojoba seed oil. This is also the only product out of the ones in this video that is not vegan. The texture is like an oily cream. It has like this oil film to it. And when I use the recommended amount of sunscreen, I definitely get a white cast. It feels very heavy and greasy at first, but you have to give it some time to absorb into your skin. You really gotta get in there. You really gotta be Rihanna and you better work, 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 work it in but even then i still get a little bit of a white cast but i ain't surprised okay because mineral sunscreen and peeps of color like we don't sit at the same table okay every time we see each other it's on sight <laughs> what i'm actually using right now is the biasance or is it biasense i'll go with the fancy one biasance squalane and zinc sheer mineral sunscreen and i'm gonna just tell you now if you have any sort of pigment to your skin any sort of melanin Whatever the level, this, y'all, it leaves zero cast. I love this so much. Apart from that, it also moisturizes. Love, love, love. Highly recommend. So, the final verdict. Is Drunk Effulent worth it? I really like the product formulations. That alone, I do think that it's worth it because it has very good ingredients. The products performed very well, but I'm not surprised because they're expensive. If they were expensive and performed trash, then I'd be really pissed. <laughs> There's a difference between investing into your skincare and just straight up wasting money. Some people love to splurge on their skincare. They want to pay $72 for a facial oil, which is fine. You do you, boo. Like, you, it's your money. You work for it. You spend it however you want. I just feel that there are so many options out there and there are so many products I've tried that work great for my skin that don't break the bank but that is just me my wallet and my skin one thing i will mention is i wish that they had eco-friendly packaging basically all their products are plastic and to my knowledge they don't have a recycling program so it's like it, it kind of sucks you know i really wish companies that produce plastic also took responsibility for getting rid of that plastic in a responsible manner but that's just me all right, Rial, so that is my opinion on Drunk Effalent. Let me know down below what you think of the brand and of their products. Comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know down below what other brands you would like for me to review. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.